Who are you to tell me I'm broken? Who are you to tell me all hope is lost? That chronic pain will follow me? That I'll never be strong again? Who are you? You have not failed. You are not too old to try again. You are not too young to try. Your mindset is everything. Don't just protect it, nourish it. I want to share with you the story of a close friend, shedding some light on a big subject so that he might help someone facing similar battles. My name is Bo. I'm a part of Epitome Athletics, and I'm here to tell you my story about my journey to fitness. My fitness journey really started grade 12 of high school. Uh, I was in the rowing team, and through rowing, it really got me passionate about working hard, embracing the pain, and just loving working out in general. However, there's also a problem that a lot of people don't talk about in terms of fitness, and it's the eating part. Many people really think that when you work out, you really don't you just, you know, you need to work out in order to look good, but that's not true. Um, in terms of working out and looking good, a diet is a huge aspect that you need to pay attention to. In terms of rowing, it was a very intense sport. I burned a lot of calories and it kind of led to a beginning of a bad habit where I was basically eating whatever I wanted because I thought because every time I go really hard, at every practice, it gave me room to eat, you know, candy, or chips, or like fries and chicken wings all the time. And it just started giving me a bad habit. Uh, and soon enough, when it comes to university, uh, I started to really want to look better. So I tried to, you know, diet in order to get abs. Of course, everybody wants abs, everybody wants to look good. But the thing is, is that there's a lot of unhealthy habits that can conform with diet restrictions. And when I was watching YouTube videos on how to get abs, it's my only bodybuilders, you know, just eating really clean diets with chicken, broccoli, eggs, and yogurt. And so that's what I did. Uh, you know, every day I would probably eat chicken and broccoli and rice and potatoes. And at the end, I saw some progress. But I didn't know at the time it was leading me to something that was even worse and which was binge eating. Um, the first time it happened for me was in my second year when I tried to try to diet for the first time. Uh, I remember this, I was looking at this box of cereal and I poured myself some cereal and, just, and I ate some. I was, I was thinking, hmm, it tastes so good. So I just kept eating and I just kept eating and eating and like 15 minutes later, the whole box was gone. And you know, I was like, whoa, right? And it got me scared because the feeling of after when you eat something you're not supposed to, after you've been restricting so long, is the feeling of guilt. And you know, it's just saying, oh my God, I probably gained so much weight or I probably got so fat. And afterwards, you know, I would just go hit cardio or just, you know, not eat anything for like the rest of the day. And more I know it, that kept happening and you know, it led to many, many more worse episodes. I remember in third year of my university, um, I was going through some mental problems. I don't, I don't really say it, but I did. Um, I haven't told a lot of people about this and it's just that in terms of people restricting your diet and having a bad mental state, it'll basically worsen, I think, your eating habits. And what happened was I realized that I was still working out at the time, but a lot of times I would just go to the supermarket and just grab as many snacks as I want. And I would just, you know, go home and eat all of it. And the bad thing about this is that afterwards, like the feeling of guilt is just like immeasurable. I just feel like, oh my God, why am I even working out? It's like, why am I doing this? And 
you know, you feel like, oh God, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be so fat the next day, and I, I better start doing like a lot more cardio or something like that. And you know, the same occurrences kept happening over the years for for a good around like you know two 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 years. Uh, leading up to now, um, I think I've finally figured out a way to, you know, keep everything in balance. So today we're gonna make the healthiest tastiest recipe that I have right now for myself I really enjoy eating this like every day and the thing is for me it's convenience over everything else because I do not have that much time and I would like to finish cooking as fast as possible and this recipe is the air fried chicken thighs and with this it's so convenient because you can just toss you can just finish the chicken prep the chicken and then just toss in the air fryer and we're good to go so right here, I have weighted out 350 grams of boneless, skinless chicken thighs with a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one egg with a little bit of Frank's Red Hot sauce. And then we have some, a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs with a little bit of seasoned Cajun. Okay, so you got one left hand for the dry ingredients and you got one right hand for the wet ingredients. So you wanna start off putting the chicken thighs in the flour it gets all and then putting in the egg wash and then breadcrumbs rinse and repeat Okay, so now that we finish breading the chicken, we're gonna just spray oil the air fryer. Transfer all the chicken in the air fryer. Make sure you give enough space to lay. We're gonna put it in the air fryer. 190 Fahrenheit for five minutes. And then after five minutes, you'll go and flip it. And then for another five minutes again, check you back then. Okay, so let's just show what it looks like. So again, this is chicken thighs, but you can also substitute this with chicken breasts. So with chicken breasts, it could be more leaner, lower in fat, but these chicken thighs, they have their own fat content and their fat content cooks like the fat of the chicken thighs itself cooks really well in the air fryer and it just makes it extra crispy and makes it really juicy and so along with the chicken thighs i'm gonna have steamed broccoli and also one cup of minute rice so finished product here got the rice 100 grams of broccoli chicken thighs i'll leave all the macros for this meal uh, right here somewhere uh so you know just, I know fried chicken's good, but it's really unhealthy for you. So I think my key to create a sustainable and healthier diet is to find alternatives that's as healthy, but also tastes good. So I would definitely suggest you guys to try this uh, recipe out. I think overall, the things that changed about me is, you know, definitely my mindset. Um, and second of all, is just how I look at food and how I incorporate healthy lifestyle into my own life so that I could have a bit of everything and have a balanced lifestyle. So right now I have a Instagram dedicated to fitness. In terms of this Instagram, it's about giving people as much advice as possible so that they can incorporate fitness into their lives as well. I give out free workouts and also, you know, tips on how to make healthy recipes taste good. And everything that I give out is through my own personal experience. And, you know, uh, I know that people out there, there are people out there who suffer the same type of eating habit as I do, or even worse, you know, and I really want to help them. And I really want to use my own experience as an example and all the things that I've went through 
and experimented with for my body that ended up working for me, I want to show people that so that it'll help them too in the end. With diet, working out can be really good mentally for someone. In my opinion, fitness is for everyone and that's because you know you don't really have to be gifted physically or genetically in order to be good at fit like you know to see results of fitness you don't have to be tall you don't have to run fast you don't have to be super strong anybody can pick up weights with the right form right and with the same consistency and dedication they can see results that's what's really amazing about fitness and i really want to preach that obviously with the right diet and with the fitness combined I think, you know, everyone can live a super healthy lifestyle.